All right, so we are going to attack solving quadratics in vertex form. This is probably one of the easiest lessons that we are going to cover in this latter part of the semester. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Even though it's early, it's 843, and unfortunately, we have this class every day. All right, so unlike or just like everything, that we have our goal is to get x by itself okay now i'm not going to give you stuff in standard form make it go to vertex form all this kind of hoo-ha here's the problem yo i'll solve it check out the hook all right so all right so we're going to start here how would i get rid of this Minus five. Good, everybody. Ah, plus five, yay! Okay. So we end up with this right here. Now, on your paper, it says, how do you undo? Okay, because remember, we're undoing are doing the opposite of all of our operations. How do you undo something to the power of two or, or something squared? Very good. Who said that one? Yeah. We're going to take the square root. All right. So when we do so, we're going to take the square root. So now... We have this. We have x plus 5. That basically, when we take the square root of this thing, it's like when the tornado comes through and just rips the roof off of the house. Okay. Now, over here, believe it or not, we have two different cases of a square root. Because <clears throat> we can multiply two negatives and get a positive. Okay, so we have to put this sign right here. Now, reason why we're going to do the square root of 5, if we plug in our calculators, we hit second square root of 5, and hit enter, we're going to get square root of 5, okay? Now, all we need to do is to get this plus 5 over to the other side. So what do we do? How do we undo a plus five? Minus, minus. We subtract five. So our answer is x equals negative five plus or minus the square root of five. And that's it. That's the answer. Yes. Yes, we do have to put the plus and minus. Oh, I would put it in front of the root because it, uh, I would put it in front of the root because if not, some people will try to actually do this. They will try to put it under here and try, they'll mess up their answer. So I would just put it in front of it. There's a reason why. And uh, it, number one, it's to prevent accidents. And number two, it's to help with tomorrow's lesson. Because only you can prevent forest fires. All right. Everybody good? Everybody double checked it on your phones? Good. Everybody. Awesome. Oh, by the way, uh, photo math put the puts these answers in a totally different way than I write them, so I will know if the formatting is different, and I'll count off. Okay. All right. So, now I know that was just the first one. But was just this first one 
Easier or harder than what we did yesterday? Probably a little bit easier. We're, we're, we're used to equations. Okay, that's something we are used to. Probably have done it since what? Sixth grade, fifth grade? Okay, something you're, you know, comfortable with? Yeah. All right. Now, what if we have to do like more steps? Okay, uh, who is the the person that said, "Let me see you one two step"? That song might be way too old for y'all. All right, so it's almost like we're going to treat this right here kind of like a variable. It's almost like if we were to say this was 2x minus 8 equals 0. It's very similar to those steps, okay? So what is our first step that we need to do? Awesome, yes, we need to add 8. Now, that 2 is being multiplied by this whole thing, all of this. Okay, remember, we're treating that whole thing, that x plus 7 quantity squared, as a variable. So what's the opposite of multiply? Divide. Okay, now we're kind of back to where we were in the first example. All right. How do we undo the squared term? Square root. I'm going to pick this up over here. So we're going to have x plus 7 equals plus or minus the square root of 4. Now, does 4 have a square root? Yeah, it does. Okay. It's 2. We'll just double check I me, mean, you know. It is. Because 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is also 4. All right. Now, last thing right now. we got to subtract the 7. Since we actually had a whole number, like a perfect square root, we can actually do this one. Okay, we can say negative 7 plus 2 and negative 7 minus 2 and get our two answers. Okay. Well. Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 5. 
negative or negative seven plus two is negative five. Negative seven minus two is negative nine. So you would only do this if our square root is a whole number. Okay? Only if you could actually do that. Now I've only done that on a handful. This may be the only one. Okay. Um, so. <clears throat> Alright. I would like for the in-class audience to work on the four problems at the bottom of the page on your own. We will go by and check them later. That is the lesson for today. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Good stuff, good things. Roll Tide.